Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Romans 12, verse 4 and 5. And it reads, For us we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function. So we, being many, are one body in Christ, an individual individually members of one another. I repeat, for us we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function. So we, being many, are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Now, I want to divide the scripture into four parts. The first part says, for us we have many members in one body now this speaks about the body itself we have many members of the body what are the members of our body the members of our body are the hands the legs the hands to to hold and to handle the legs to um walk and to run we have the head which is like the central the, the central point of the body held head to control the senses to control we have the mouth to speak we have the ear to hear we have the um, eyes to see then we have other the, the skin covers the body so we have the bones um, upholds the body structure so every member of our body has its function and without there are some there, there, there are some function there are some members of the body that the body cannot function without. So every member of the body combines its function to make the process go on, the process of living, the process of livelihood, the process that there is life in a body. Then the second piece said, but all the members do not have the same function. That, that is exactly what I, I spoke in the, in the previous um, um, bit. It says, all the members do not have the same function. Um, as I said, the eyes to see, the ear to hear, the mouth to speak, the head is a central point of control. Then it goes ahead and says, so we, being many, are one body in Christ. So here it speaks individually about the, the, those who are in the kingdom of Christ, those who are in the body of Christ, those who make up the body of Christ are a group of individuals who believe, first and foremost, and are referred to as the children of God or referred to as the followers of Christ. So also, they are the people that make up the body of Christ, that make up the whole body called Christ. So, for the body of Christ to move, for the body of Christ to be to expand, for those for there to be growth in the body of Christ, people um, need to engage in different activities. What, what, what are, now, what are those activities? Those activities are the usage of the spiritual giftings, usage of the offices given to everyone usage of the ministries given to everyone the offices could be offices of um, prophecy offices of ministering offices of pastoral office apostleship a uh, bishopship and other offices then the the the, the spiritual gifts and the gift of healing the gift of of um, um multiple tongues the gift of prophecy, the gift of signs and wonders, the gift of the word of knowledge, the gift of the word of wisdom. So also all those giftings being utilized continually feed the body of Christ for there to be growth in the body of Christ, both spiritual growth in the body of Christ and material growth in which transcends to material growth in the body of christ then the last verse is an individually members of one another so here it was trying to buttress that we are separate and different individuals but at the same time 
because of what we share and that is sharing the principles of God that is living and sharing the the the, the ways of Christ that makes us the children of God and makes us the followers of Christ that we individually come together to make up the body of Christ in one mind, in one spirit, in one movement, in one God, in one Christ, in one Holy Spirit, as the children of God. Now, I want to pray that God is able to expound our minds on this word, that God is able to give us more revelational knowledge, that it, um, God is going to give us the grace that every giftings we, we have not been able to utilize in our lives, that God gives us the grace to continue to walk in those giftings, to go into thrive in those giftings, that ultimately we would be able to arise and shine in God, to the glory of God. All this I ask through Jesus Christ our lord i thank you so much for listening god bless god bless in jesus name amen amen